court date for both drivers arrested in connection to that deadly crash in the five towns, but one arraignment could be delayed. Filesons Ron Lee is at police headquarters in Mineola with the latest. Ron. What do you want to say to the victim's families? Sakaya, were you driving while impaired? No. You weren't. As she left Nassau Police Not Headquarters drinking. to head to her arraignment on drug and alcohol charges, Sakia Stewart of Brooklyn indicated that she had not been drunk or high at the time of yesterday's five-car crash in Lawrence on the Nassau Expressway, in which two people died after their car burst into flames. These two individuals were trapped in the vehicle. Um, the fire department did respond, heavy rescue, emergency services. Uh, they did what they could, but unfortunately, these two individuals perished in the fire. Yet while two drivers from Brooklyn, including Stewart, were arrested at the scene yesterday, police say the other driver, 35-year-old Ramel Watkins, is dealing with a medical issue and that his arraignment on DWI charges will take place when it's medically practical. They speed down this road. Like I said, I used to go to work here, sanitation, and fly down this road. How fast is flying? <laughs> 70, 80 sometimes. Really? Emmanuel Escona of Inwood lives close to the crash site and tells me before he retired, he would be out and about during the overnight hours driving along the portion of the Nassau Expressway where the crash took place. How many accidents I've seen on this road? And it was always at nighttime, always at, nighttime. In, at the, in the mornings. Detectives have not said if Stewart and Watkins knew each other or if they were speeding or drag racing around 1.42 yesterday morning when the crash took place. But what we do know is that Stewart is now facing multiple charges, including unlawful possession of marijuana and driving while ability impaired by the combined influence of drugs and alcohol. Meantime, the online publication, The Yeshiva World, is reporting that the victims of the crash were a young couple who got engaged only a week ago and who were supposed to get married in three months. Detectives would not confirm the names of the victims and tell us the investigation is ongoing. In Mineola, Ron Lee, Fios 1 News.